Do we wait till We're we'll doing it live. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you can wait a little bit. Um, what's up, guys? We're back. Back in the studio. Vegas is a very productive trip. Andy and I had a blast. Very excited to uh, to be back and working. So I'll show you guys. I'm gonna grab the stencil real quick of what we're doing. Uh, so. Oh, we have this, uh, this is the back of the stencil. Like the front is like this, but it's easier to see if I show you guys the back. So this is uh, the Russell piece that we're doing. It's gonna be dope. And uh, let's see, we're doing it. So this is the white layer, which we'll do first, and the black layer. Long overdue painting. Sorry that it took so long, but it's going to be worth the wait. Okay. So this was for, yeah, Matt's back there. Whoop, there. What's up, everybody? Andy's over here. What's up? <laughs> so, <laughs> so casual. Uh, yeah, so it'd be good. It's also cool because uh, Seahawks, and then tomorrow I'll be painting the other Ichiro so that you guys will get to vote over the weekend which Ichiro will be uh, the card that I submit to Tops. Also, I'm bad at, I'm bad at uh, remembering to do this, but uh, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe down below right there. It would mean a lot to me. Um, Oh, that reminds me. We have to do a. We have to do that giveaway. Um, will Which, you? The puzzle. I already picked that. Oh, you did. Yes. Okay. Roman Puno. Congratulations. Roman. That was for the hitting three thousand. That was for the three thousand. No, three thousand is a different one. When I hit three thousand subs, I said that oh. I would do a giveaway to any one of the subs. Yes, I haven't done, we okay. haven't done that one yet. We still have a giveaway coming. Yeah. Anyways, if you're not subscribed, do it now. Then you can get in on the giveaway. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be some card art uh, or some prints or something. It'll be something cool. But anyway, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we're trying to grow the channel. We do this every night, Monday through Friday, 10, 23 p.m. Eastern, which is cool. Uh, so tonight we're going to do the Russell. Tomorrow we're going to do Ichiro. Um, for the Russell, I'm going to do two of them. So I painted this background, which I think is like, I think it looks really nice. Um, but I want to do a test print on this, just a piece of foam board like I paint the cards on for tops. Uh, I'm just going to do a test print on this first. I have kind of a, you guys saw me do the Ichiro where I was doing like all the splatter and kind of like funkiness. I have an idea for that, for this like test print. Should be a good time. So that's what we're doing tonight. It's pretty hot too. I guess because I opened this up. Yeah, let's go. Let's see if see if the if the AC's not on, will you turn it on? Sure. Also, this uh, this rust is uh, wearing the color rush, so it's gonna be kind of like that color. This is like empty, but I'm gonna try and use just a little bit of it for like splatter. I'm gonna be painting the color rust stuff with acrylic, with this blick, same color basically. Should be great. I love the color rush jerseys. They're super tight. This one is for uh, uh, somebody that won a charity auction uh, earlier this year. Uh, oftentimes I'll work with charities, I'll let people choose a blank canvas, uh, meaning that they can have me paint whatever they want. This winner happened to win a blank canvas pretty much right when Topps Project 2020 started to pop off and I just got super, um, somebody thinks I'm baked? No, I'm just hot. Um, yeah, they won this right about when Tops 2020 started popping off, and so I just got really busy, and I feel bad that I haven't done this painting, so I'm glad I'm getting to like make the time to make it happen. I've been slowly working on this one for months. Uh, <laughs> Jason Egger, you can hold the test print for me. All right, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, how do you know what and where to cut the stencil out? Uh, a lot of practice, honestly. A lot of trial and error, a lot of practice. 
started out just watching YouTube, uh, how to cut stencils, and then kind of took certain um, certain pieces of how different artists did it, and now like the way that I cut my stencils is different than than I know. Um, Grant, does the jersey fit? I actually, I haven't tried it on yet. I literally, we touched down from Vegas at 7 a.m. this morning, uh, ended up, we didn't really sleep very well on the plane, um, so I slept until like one o'clock today, came into the studio, and we've just been, I've been working on cutting that stencil, so I have not cut out, or I have not tried on the Mark McGuire jersey yet, but I'm very excited too. Yes, and maybe we'll do that well, There it is, right. yeah. maybe. I am pretty sweaty though. Yeah, we'll save like it. We'll fit. save it for. Looks, looks it looks like, like it'll fit. We'll looks save like it for when you're not sweating profusely. Yeah, or or when I'm not painting because I don't want to get paint. Yeah, on yeah, sweat. yeah. That's a good call. This we don't want to get paint on. It's a nice jersey. Definitely fits. Sweet. Good so stuff. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Of course. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little bit of painting. Uh, nobody sleeps on the plane. Usually I can. It was uh, just tough. Couldn't this time. Uh, let's see here. Sleep is for quitters. Yeah, uh, I think sleep's important. Uh, believe it or not, I know it seems like I'm always working, but I'm uh, always getting seven hours of sleep every night. If I go to bed at four, I sleep for seven hours. If I go to bed at midnight, I sleep for seven hours. Uh, yeah, so I think that sleep is super important for me just to be able to get in the zone and do what I want to do. Um, it's a little bit wet. All right, so we're gonna get after it. And we're gonna paint. Uh, while we're painting tonight, I'm gonna have you guys here, so you guys are gonna kinda see me, and I will, uh, from uh, every so often, I'll kinda tilt down like that and give you guys a preview, or I'll hold it up and show you guys what, uh, how it's coming along. But while I'm painting, um, Matt is gonna be taking some still photos with a phone. And Andy is gonna be filming some video with the roaming camera. We're gonna use that content and we're gonna be putting it on Instagram and TikTok. On TikTok, I am at Blake the Artist. And uh, we're gonna put some like process stuff on there, which should be cool. We wanna give like, we wanna give someone a reason to watch or, or like follow like all the different platforms. So if here, if you get like the Q and A um, and you get to see like this angle, on Instagram, you might see some cool behind the scenes photos of the creation process. And then on TikTok, you'll see some creation videos. We want to make it so that, um, anyways, we're trying to, uh, try to branch out and try something new. So let's see, I think we should just, I think we're just going to go for it. There. Safety first. New development acrylics. All right. Let's see here if we can move it like that. There we go. That's good. I'm in the trim and stuff. What's that? It's hard to hit. So I feel like I'm in the Truman show or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. At all angles of my life being captured at all the, times. The twilight zone. Yeah.
so good. This one's going to be kind of the test print slash experimental. I think it's always important in your art practice keep trying new stuff. So this allows me to do it and kind of being efficient because I'm doing two of the same stencil, which is great. Also rocking the fanny, by the way. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Yeah, so I kind of want to see, let's see, I have my reference photo here. Okay. Oh, that's a cool reference photo. There's any paint left in this. Let's see here. Oh, actually, here, here it is. A little bit. Alright. Let's see, I'll pull up that reference photo again. Thank you. 
So just a reminder, I'm kind of messing with this one. I'm just playing with it. The main one's going to be on the canvas. I'm going to do the acrylic like I usually do. I'm just trying to play with something a little different. It's gonna take a while to dry, so I'm gonna let that one dry. Go to the mid-tones of the other one. Keep it rocking.
get this out of the way for you guys. What's up, Grant? Thank you, Denning family. Where did that picture go? There it is. Okay, so I go like this. I can actually put that over there. Now I can still see the comments. Way better. Bam. Okay, I think we're all set now. Let's see. I need that on front. That on front. There we go. All right. So on this one, I'm doing acrylic, painting in the midtones. I first I took my black stencil layer. I sprayed it with silver spray paint, which is very opaque. I call that my reference layer. Yeah, we should. Uh, I should have some music on, but. Oh yeah. I need like. Uh, I need like royalty free stuff. Oh, that's true. Because we monetize our streams. Let's see here. Oops. I just got a. There's a big old happy accident right there. That's not it, baby. Yeah. I can pick it up with a scraper.
looking pretty cool. The color rush is popping. Little trees, that's right, Tess. We might have to find a new account. Yeah. Call. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Cool. I'm digging it. I'll show you guys where we're at so far. So we've got uh, a lot of the lime kind of color rush in there. We got some blues in there. Next, is we're going to do some skin tones. It's gonna be cool. They're both gonna be really cool. Use this metallic copper from Blick. It's like the base on skin tone, and then I can lighten it up and darken it up as I see fit. But that's usually what I start with.
do that. Going up another level. Yeah. You can do it if you want. Hot jump a lot. Nice, bro. Andy's way up there. Feel good about it. Right. Let's see, we need a water cup. What's up, Tim? Welcome to the party. Russell Wilson getting ready to throw a touchdown. Yeah, okay, so that one's also ready for a fan now. Or something.
Dr. Dre. Not all the way there yet. There's the other, the test print that we're also going to mess with. Kind of hurry up and wait situation right now. Got to get a fan going. Not like this. Matt, you want to entertain the people for a second while you're doing the restroom? Yeah, absolutely. Do you still have to sign? Uh, there are a lot of cars for you to sign. Come back. Come back. All right, guys, Matt's going to entertain you. Andy might be stuck up there forever. Oh, no. But at least Max the Mouse can't get up there. That's true. I mean, you, you don't know place. about Max the Mouse. Max the Mouse, like, this mouse has like superhuman strength so honestly that mouse might be able to get up I mean you can't see where Andy is he's like kind of on the ledge you'll be able to tell like where he was based on the photos he was taking but this mouse you know again like crazy mouse so you never know with the mouse anyway what's up everybody Eric you rock appreciate you I'm kicking over paint by accident pick that up hope everybody's having a good Thursday night uh, what's up, everybody? Ooh, Scotty, giveaway? I think we're gonna do one really, really, really soon. Um, what's up, Amos? What's up, Octavio? What's up, Tim S? What's up, James? How's it going, Grant? <laughs> we're literally watching paint dry. Absolutely. You know, it's funny, I used to go to the, oh, I used to go. I went to the NFL draft twice and, like, actually sat there while they just bred the picks. And my mom was like, I'd rather watch paint dry than sit there while they announce the NFL draft picks, so. It's like watching a graduation. It's like watching a graduation, except, it, I mean, it was cool. I, like, I got to meet, like, DeBrickashaw Ferguson, Steve Young. I took a photo with Roger Goodell, which was cool at the time. Maybe not as cool now. Um, but, no, it was, it was a very, very cool experience. Tim, I don't know where Max is. Everybody, you know. Daryl, I don't know where Max is, you know. <laughs> What's up, Oliver? What's up, Donna? How's it going? Hey, Emma. Hey, Ron. What's up? Things are good. Hey, what's up, Brian? Hey, how's it going, Ellen? What's up, Andre? Hey, how's it going, Abraham? What's up, Jay? How's it going, Derek? Hey, Jason, how's it going? Hey, Patrick, what's up? Of course. Yes, I have caught up now on the the Blake and Gregory Sif uh, Big Mac collaboration art card email. So if you've emailed me, you should have gotten a response. Uh, so if you haven't gotten a response, please email me again, and then I will 100% see it. Um, but I do believe I responded to all of those emails, so uh, we will announce that in the near future. Um, why? Who is the... I don't know. Is there a mouse next to me? Tim, I hope not. I, 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 think, I think I'm okay, but uh, never know. Uh, is it a mouse or a rat? I think it's a mouse, but it's a pretty giant mouse. Giant, I mean, it's like, mouse. it's a big mouse. It I mean, like it keeps getting bigger. It's like, I mean, it started out like this, and now it's like, like, now this, it's big. like this big. It's like this big. It's like a football. I was saying Tom a CFL Jerry. football. Jerry was the mouse? Uh, yeah. Tom and Jerry. Yeah, Jerry was the mouse. Yeah, that's yeah. Jerry. Hey, Caleb. How's it going? Hope you're having a great night. Yeah, I, I am having a good week, Terrell. It's, uh, it's nice to have Blake and Andy back in the studio. That's exactly right, Daryl. I can tell my mom I've seen a boring NFL draft and watched Pin Dry. I was actually at the draft where it was the longest first round. I think it was like six hours and 15 minutes or something like that. It was, very, it was a very long first round. Um, but it was, it was still fun. And you get, to, you get to meet like all kinds of people, you know, fans from all over the country are there. Um, so it was really cool. Oh, thank you, Carnegie Deli. Let's go, NYC. Huh? Of course. So, you coming, did you have me hold it to come down, or did you? No, no, I just did it Okay. Um, 
I was just doing it. Oh, Tess, that's awesome. I actually have always meant to watch Ratatouille, and I've never oh, seen Ratatouille. It's, it's an amazing movie. Andy's saying it's a great Short movie. Story. I was really upset when I went to Paris because I thought come, it was going to be like, come, come talk. it's too late. Okay, okay. okay. But I, I thought He's it was going to be like Ratatouille, and it was, was nothing like it, and I was really upset. Andy was upset that Paris was not like Ratatouille. <laughs> so that tells you everything you need to know about Andy right there. Uh, also, the guy that eats Lunchables. I was just going to say, were you upset that you couldn't get any Lunchables in Paris as well? Well, or, uh, oh, Andy, 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 Andy. Yes, continue to tease me about Max the Mouse. You're, you're allowed to. Everyone, everyone in this chat, you have permission. Everyone else does not have permission. This is uh, Team OG Hot Plate. Oh, we're putting on another fan. So if the audio is a little bit uh, shaky, it's because it huh? Blake put on a, a, another fan, which is a bit more intense. And I'm not sure if that'll affect the audio. Hopefully not. But uh, we do want this paint to dry. So. Put this over in front of that mega Yeah. All right. Shouldn't Andy, Blake and Andy be quarantining? Yes, they are quarantining. I'm just in the studio because I'm an idiot. Um, and I'm willing to interact with them. They are, they are really taking this seriously, particularly Blake. Um, and Andy, I don't mean to say that Andy's not taking it seriously. <laughs> Andy's also taking it seriously. Yeah, we're basically um, not leaving the studio. Yeah, I mean they're basically not leaving the studio slash their places where they will sleep uh, for the next two weeks. So they will not be going hanging out in the park or, or anything like that. Um, even UPS. Even well, UPS. I yes. To to UPS. I went to UPS today. Andy and Blake did not go to UPS today, so I will be taking all of the. The UPS trips the next two weeks. Glad you can still hear us. Thanks, Tim. Um, pirates still train in Bradenton. Good question, Mr. Jameson. I think so. It's a good question. Uh, shout out to Nathan. What's up, Nathan? And thank you, Tim. I appreciate that. Uh, discuss the talent that brought you to the office when Blake and Andy was in the office. I don't know if I understand, James. Uh, T-shirt of a mouse with a bullet hole in it. Yes, Mike. That would be, I, I would wear that. That would be pretty funny. That would be pretty funny. Yes, Eric. Too late for UPS now, but I went twice today at like 3 p.m. and like... No, no, no. Like 4 p.m. and like 7 o'clock. So... Uh, yeah. I would really like to um, go just see... Every, I mean, obviously when baseball and is back to normal and spring training is, is back to, obviously it was spring training was cut short this year I would love to go to Arizona I've never been to Arizona for spring training I've heard that's amazing yeah have you been Blake yeah, yeah. Blake's been and um, he's told me it's awesome um, Matthew Berg plans for the weekend uh, just planning to work on the podcast this weekend that's really the one goal we're gonna record the first episode. yes we're gonna record 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 excuse me record the first episode um, so that's really exciting I'm really I'm really pumped for that so it should be awesome what's up Ryan can you give me a spare water spare what a spare water right by the jet the light one the light, the light. this yeah, okay all right okay, okay. do you want to spritz what do you it's dusty here it's okay dusty here. okay Andy's doing something. I have no idea what. He's cleaning, maybe? Oh, he's cleaning. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's um, never been cleaned. Yeah. Oh, wow. Patrick, thank you so much. Appreciate it. That sounds awesome. Favorite baseball player ever? Glaber Torres. You know, I was thinking about Glaber. Favorite baseball player ever is probably... <laughs> It's either Bernie Williams or Joe DiMaggio. Good question. Are all the fannies shipped? Octavio, great question. Um, I believe all of the fannies will be shipped tomorrow. Uh, I'm 99% sure of that. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I think about 90 to 95% of the fannies have already been shipped. So not all of them have been shipped, but uh, we just finished packing the rest of the fannies today uh, in the studio, and I know Tony has some at his house in New Jersey, um, so I imagine he'll be getting those out, the rest of those, if he hasn't already sent them out today, probably tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure about that, um, 
and then the fannies that are in the studio will be sending out tomorrow is the plan so um, very shortly and Donna absolutely I really want to go to Arizona Fall League uh, I used to when I was working for MLB Pipeline I would cover those games cover those games remotely um, from New York City which was um, special special also it was also kind of a late night endeavor because those games don't start until like 6 West Coast time so 9 p.m. East Coast time and then I was working with someone who would write a game story after the game. The, the, AF, the good thing, the AFL games are pretty short. They're like two, two and a half hours. But then I'd have to wait for someone to write a game story and then send that to me at like 12, 1 a.m. And then I have to edit it and publish it. And so then I wouldn't get out of there until like 2 or 3 a.m. Um, but that was, that was a good time. That was a good time. Um, Krista, Fort Myers is a nice spring, spring training locale. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I actually went to a Fort Myers Miracle game last summer, which was really cool. That's the Twins High A team, um, and saw some really nice prospects. Royce Lewis had just graduated to Double A, so I didn't see Royce, which I was really bummed about. Um, but besides that, it was pretty awesome. I think you might be able to sell your uh, your fanny colonial pie. Wow, if you want an autographed card by me, you can you can certainly get one. It might the card again might be worth less with my autograph on there, but if you want one. Uh Ah, uh, James, I see what you did. No, not I, I wish, not these days. Nope. So, uh yeah. Baltimore O's in Sarasota. Yeah, that's right. I would love to just spend a couple weeks just going around Florida for all the spring training sites. That would be so cool. And then Arizona. So Blake, are we uh, getting close to the, oh, yeah, we're, the next? We're, 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 we're there? We're ready. Sweet. Oh, that's so cool, Mr. Jameson. You saw Frank Thomas? That's really cool. Awesome. All right, so Blake, we're getting back to some more. Blake painting Russell Wilson. Enjoy, everybody. Cool. Yes. Track it up. Yep. Great. Alright, white layer time. We're gonna do this one first. Acrylic dries fast, which is awesome. So here we go. Uh, are you sending these pictures to uh Ellen Tech? Cool. Oh, no, Great. He's a dope one. Yep, he's uh he's tweeting and stuff. He's still doing his thing. Dope. Just realized something. This what? is a different photo. Because I did two of these. Oh, that is a different photo. That's totally different. Yeah. All right. Black layer it is. <laughs> Damn, that's hilarious. I wonder if I could get this second white layer somewhere. All right. Black layer it is. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. That's not going to match up. Alright. I'm glad you noticed before you uh, Yeah, because I remember we switched I switched the photo. Alright, well we're gonna do a black. That was hilarious. You know, I didn't even know I never even noticed. I didn't notice till right now. It's all good. It's all good, man. It's all good, man. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Because it's for like, so all these parts that are that are covered up, like that's where the blue will be. And then, oh, I see. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And also because of the mesh, like you'll be able to see part of it through, like, so you'll still see it. Could actually be cool with both of those to do like a dual portrait. Yeah. What's up, guys? Are those Willie Mays you just signed? No, I have not. Dude, we don't even have trouts. Yeah. Let alone uh, uh, Mariano's, let alone Willie's. I was signing uh, Martin McGuire's. Yeah, so I gotta come back in with the white and do the eagle. Do like the uh... Oh man. That's sick. It's pretty tight. There's a few things I wanna come in and hand paint white, like the uh, the Seahawks oh, wow. logo. Holy cow. And then the white to the eyes. That looks sick. But besides that, I'm happy with it. So guys, I need I will need to paint a little bit more white on here. But I do think uh, it came out really cool. Let's see if I can show you guys a little closer. Wow! Uh, it's <laughs> awesome. I can let that dry before I do the white, then I'll hit it with black one more time. Okay.
it's gonna pop. It's gonna be tight. Okay, let's see what else we got. <laughs> All right, guys, so first time for everything. This happy accident. I've been working on this project for so long, slowly, little by little. I forgot halfway through, I changed the reference image that I was using. 
So the white layer that I had cut was a totally different image of Russell. So what I just did is I basically painted the black layer. I came back in just with a paintbrush. Look, I'm looking at my reference image right there and I just hand painted in all the highlights. It's gonna look freaking sick. I'm gonna pop back in with the black once this dries. So I'm gonna put this in front of the super fan, grab that one. So this is where we're at. So brought in like some white. Once we put the, uh, the Seahawks logo over this, this will look good. We got the white around the letters. We got kind of a highlight. And then just like, just some little highlights for the light. Um, just gonna be good. Let's see if I can show you guys the face. So I got like the whites of the eyes, very important to get for a portrait. Uh, brought a little bit more white into like the helmet, chin strap and whatnot. So it's gonna be dope. I will do the black over this one more time, um, but it's definitely coming together. I'm gonna grab that other one. Yeah. That's Super tight that he has the lime cleats. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay. Thanks, guys. I'm happy with it. And for this one, I told you guys it's experimental. I'm actually gonna use a gold spray paint, hit that first, do a slight offset, and then hit it with black. Experimenting.
did. Okay, so we did this kind of chrome. I'm still gonna hit it again with the black. I just wanna I wanna have a little offset, and then we're gonna have a little bit of glow on everything, which I think will be a uh, might be cool. Guess we'll find out. Looks like you need 3D glasses. It's <laughs> pretty cool. So here's the, the experimental one. So you got that shine kind of on the side of the black. Offset just a tiny bit. Stand back here and see if I can uh, show you guys. Kind of tight. I dig it. I like these drips too. I actually wish, I kind of wish there were more drips. Piece. Alright, let's see if the other one is ready.
Remember on portraits, the most important thing, line up the eyes. If you get the eyes, if everything else is a tiny bit off, it, it does not matter as much. If the eyes are a tiny bit off, forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Nice work. I'll grab the other one. I'll hold them both up for you guys. Stick the floors. <laughs> All right, let's see here. guys for tuning in um, so I saw a couple of people asking about this one uh, I'm gonna launch art for sale on my site tomorrow again and we'll, we'll include this one there how about that so if you guys are interested uh, this the canvas one that one was the charity auction winner that one's spoken for uh, I'm actually probably gonna stay up and keep playing with this one a little bit I'm gonna do something on the background I might actually cut it out Mounted on something else. I don't know. Um, anyways, I will turn this into something that I put on my site tomorrow. Tomorrow during the stream, I will, uh, I'm will. i going to launch a few more pieces. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, thank you guys so much all for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm here every night, Monday through Friday, mostly with these guys. And uh, do you want me to just send you that photo? Yeah, I got okay. it. Thanks, though. Cool. Should we, uh, should we uh, say goodbye? Yeah, we should say goodbye. Let's do it. Okay. Right. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, no! It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> They're surprisingly resilient. Don't worry about it. All right. On that note. 
<laughs> All right. Okay, you're you're gonna you're gonna sound us off. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Stay, Stay awesome. awesome. Oh. oh.